Uh, it's Thursday. It's time for the Bud List. And as we mentioned, it's only a half hour show. But that still means we have time to answer your questions and concerns. Do we? we get a lot of viewer mail on this show. Yeah. For the year 2023, we get a yeah. lot of viewer mail. But I won't open it until we get the letter. Okay. okay. When I open my bills at home, I'm like, excuse me, Lib? Yes. <laughs> Con <Ed. laughs> Dear Wilds, since you only have a half hour show, <laughs> let's get right to the bud list. Wow. Cheers, Dawn. Well, thank you, Dawn. <laughs> wow. A little extra production. I think we will do so. I was waiting for the love to show. All right, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to be quick with these. At number three, Joel Embiid. Look. Why? Hey, right now, he's my vote for the <gasps> MVP. Oh, that's okay. Wow. Giannis is right there, and Jokic is still alive. But last is night, it? after what he had, 10 straight games of 30 or more points, most in franchise history when Julius Irving, Allen Iverson, Moses Malone played for that franchise, he only had 12 and 7 last night, 7 boards. I know he only played 16 minutes, but here's my thing. He didn't play the second half with a calf injury. Now, they're just saying it's tightness. Doc Rivers said it's just precautionary. He should be back for the next game. My point is this. The only thing I believe at this point that could stop Embiid from winning his first MVP, which we all know he cherishes and wants badly, is if he doesn't, if he misses a ton of games. Mm -hmm. And so that's my thing. Joel, I believe in you. Keep playing, my man. All right, at number two, Draymond Green. Mm. Now, I believe in these Warriors, and I have not counted them out. Nick has tried to get me every single day to take his olive branch, and I have refused to do it because I still believe in you Warriors. But, Draymond, you said to yourself, the punch undermined your authority. You haven't been able to communicate and have that moral voice on defense and get everybody moving. You, I, look, come to Jesus meeting with the young players, uh, a locker room, tete-a-tete -tete with everybody, whatever. Or you just go out there and start bossing everybody around again. Whatever the case, you have to be that inspirational leader and voice that the Warriors need because it's winning time, my man. So let's do that. At number one. Do you believe in him? I do believe in yeah, you, okay. Draymond. You know that. At number one, Lamar Jackson. Hmm. Lamar, look, I agree with you. You are getting the short end of the stick. You are better than Deshaun Watson. You obviously don't have the off-the-field baggage that he has. You deserve a huge, fully guaranteed contract. But you haven't handled this thing the greatest either. I do think you need to get an agent. You know, I mean, you, you can't have... You know, just random people, even if they know you, calling teams, trying to negotiate. That's what an agent does. They negotiate. They talk to owners by themselves. They might even leverage some other clients or well, let, let me do you a favor. Let, I'll scratch your back. You scratch mine. That's what agents do. All right. And I get it. You might not trust people outside your inner circle, but you've been in the league long enough now where you can properly vet agents or people that help you out. You can talk to some teammates and say, look, is this guy trustworthy? Is that guy trustworthy? So there's no need for you to fear doing that. So I just want you to get the best contract you can get. And now you're kind of in a, in a, in a tough situation because nobody's putting offers out there. So handle this the right way, Lamar. I do believe in you. Great bud list. I'm going to add Kawhi Leonard. Oh, mm. Kawhi Leonard. The Los Angeles Clippers are 38 and 35. They could be 39 and 34 in good shape, but Kawhi couldn't get a shot off against Lou Dort. Well, he plays Lou Dort and the Oklahoma City Thunder, who are right on their heels once again tonight. The Thunder, of course, are led by Shea Gilgis Alexander, who Kawhi didn't want to play with, wanted Paul George, and now Paul George is out. And while I do not think it is on Kawhi to lead the Clippers deep into the postseason if Paul George isn't there, much less to a championship, this is a man who once upon a time was called the best player in basketball. Since he's been with the Clippers, he hasn't looked anything, anything but that. He is an in-his-prime 31-year-old, well-rested superstar. Here is the rest of their schedule. They have two back-to-backs. Kawhi famously does not play back-to-backs. Mm -hmm. He's going to need to. Ooh. If he doesn't, and if the Clippers end up not being in the eight-team final playoff tournament, that is an indictment on him. It is not an inspiration. It is an indictment. That is a tough schedule, but the Clippers should have in every single one of those games. 
the best player on the court, theoretically. I like, so let's see if Kawhi can get them into the tournament. I like what you're saying. The only thing is, I, I don't know if Kawhi is the typical load management of some of these other guys. Like, there are people in the, around the league that will tell you, he really can't play back to back because we remember him limping around yeah, in Toronto sure. even when he led him to the championship. Like people think that would damage him. So I, I hear you. They need him, but I don't know if he can do it. Bro, I'm going to add Monty Williams to the bud list. Wow. Last Coach. night the Lakers had 46 free throws. The poor Suns had 20. And this is on the heels of Monty Williams complaining that Giannis shot 24 free throws and the entire Suns team shot 16. Here's a mashup of the quotes on what he thinks about that. When do you see a game with 46 free throws for one team? Giannis has 24 free throws. It's ridiculous. There's no other way to put it. Okay. Here are the stats, though. Josh pulled up the stats. Free throws attempts a game. Suns, 20. Opposition, 30. It's the largest gap in the entire league. And then when you play the Lakers, check this one out. This is from our friends at StatMuse. Do I know anyone at StatMuse? Not necessarily, but we're friends. Lakers have the highest free throw difference. They don't take the most necessarily, no. but when they play a game, whoo, they sure do shoot a lot. So Monty Williams has a point here, or they just need to drive to the basket more. Well, Monty is uh, a, a really upstanding guy. I don't think he's making anything up or playing games, but they are a jump shooting team. Yes. They're the third, they're third lowest in the league in free throw attempts. Guess who's last in the league in free throw attempts? Golden State. The Warriors. Yeah. The jump shooting team. So. They, they just don't attack the rim like a lot of these other teams. They should. <laughs>